Okay, so we are getting some progress done. Um, our hope motor is a 210 millimeters wide, and um, this uh, pit bike has a 180. Um, it takes a 180, 180 uh, hub. So we have to widen the, um, the fittings. So what I did was I machined this um, part uh, that I salvaged out of uh, another uh, bike and I am going to weld it here uh, and then I'm removing this part right here so we can get more clearance. Basically that's it and that should, uh, should give us the, uh, the space that we need to fit the electric uh, hub. Okay, let's get to it. full of play I have to machine some bushings for this. Well we'll get to it. Uh, but yeah it looks it looks good. Let let it um, cool down and then we will um, see if the hub fits like it should. Probably will. Um, one thing I should say about this is you should be confident of your welding skills. If if you're not, don't don't try it, because this is a point of a lot of stress in, in the bike. Um, so unless this is very, very well welded, and very secure, you're going to have a bad time, because the back wheel is going to fall off, and then the cables are going to pull on your batteries, and everything's going to go to shit. So um, be sure that you are comfortable with your welding. If not, ask someone to do it for you. Because then if something goes wrong, you can blame them. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. We now finished welding the supports for the hub uh, in place. I already put a little bit of spray paint to prevent it from rusting. Let me give you a closer look. Okay, this is how it turned out. Um, in our case, the hub motor is not centered so we had to kind of improvise and pull one of the supports to the right as you see there and pull the other one just a little bit to the left this way we have clearance and hopefully the wheel would, will be centered in the in the frame um, okay i will now assemble the hub motor So as you can see, it turned out good. Turned out good. Looks good. We now have to finish the brake bracket. Um, but other than that, yeah, the wheel is pretty much in there. Um, it's, it's good. Let me show you up close. So we have the main nut. And then on the side, we have the small nut that keeps the wheel from coming off even if uh, you lose the main nut or even if some you have uh, the wheel loose, it will not come off because of this um, nut and obviously this bracket would hold, will hold it in place. And you have exactly the same thing on the other side as well. This is the motor. Yeah, and there's our bracket that we did. You see, now it fits. And it's pretty much centered, yeah. So, so good, let's move on. Starting to look like something. I still haven't decided if I am going to get a rear dirt tire or a front road tire. In the end, I got a front road tire. The bike looks quite good. 
Um, so yeah, uh, that's it for this video. In the next one, we are going to paint the frame. It goes wrong almost immediately. So stay tuned, you know, subscribe, blah, 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 and uh, the bell icon and all that stuff. You know the drill. Hey, thanks for watching.